And over here we have here, um, before we begin our garden tour, is my seed starters. And they've done really well. Um, these, these are blo broccoli. And we've got some more broccoli. And back there is, right here is um, beef steak tomatoes. And right here is, I think they're homestead tomatoes. And over here is cucumber, cucumbers, um, bell pepper, and eggplant. And in these trays I have California poppies and uh, I forgot what that flower is. Cosmos, that's what it is. And over here I have some assorted other seeds that are somewhat grow. A lot of them, some didn't grow. Over here, these are the homestead tomatoes and banana bell peppers. And one little zucchini plant right there. But yeah, but these have done really well. Um, I keep them outside. I started them indoors and then gradually brought them outside. And they've done really well. As you can see, this is my garden. It has expanded. We'll start over here. Over here is some purplish, white, pinkish African daisies. I bought them when they were dying off and then they came back to life and they've grown. They've done really well. I have back here is rosemary, thyme, and oregano. All three of these have done really well. Over this, I've had these plants for about two years. Over here is an artichoke plant, and hopefully we'll get an artichoke in August. And this is some Russian. lavender or it's a type of lavender and this has grown really well over here is the spearmint this has this has flourished over the winter time over here we have some lettuces big head of lettuce I just threw the seeds in there it was originally a salad mix that I got from seed but they've done really well and they and I just planted them over winter and they've just expanded and they just grew just water over here is we have a few carrots not a whole lot but I just harvest three of them last week and they were really good over here is uh, it's a plant it's white daisies but they've been um, they should be blooming pretty soon one thing I wanted to add was that um, this is my third attempt for uh, English lavender. For some reason, they keep on drying out. But hopefully, this one here um, will survive the the summer um, because it gets really hot here, like over like a hundred degree weather, and sometimes they these do tend to dry out. So this is my fourth attempt. So. Hopefully fourth attempt is the lucky charm. And over here, they're all they're starting to bloom. Shoot up. Um, French lavender. And they've done really well. And then over here is a orange tree and they just finished up and they've done really good. If they're finished for this season. And then we have here the lemon tree. And as you can see, there, there's a few lemons still left, but they're almost pretty much done. And then over here, and one thing to note about the orange 
and lemon tree is that my grandfather, when he planted it, put these used, these pipes, these plastic white pipes, and they the water goes straight into the root system. I think that's why they've done so well. Same over there, you can't see it over there, but they've done really well. And over here is a little red geranium. And it's filled with weeds, but this is a, I got this from a friend, a Bougainvillea. This gets really, really, this becomes really beautiful. It has a lot of red leaves and it, it's really pretty. And then right here we have a Roma tomato. And there's another Roma tomato right there. They have done really well. I've already seen flowers. And here we have the sugar snap peas that I planted in winter. And they have grown out of control. But I've got a lot of them. A lot of sugar snap peas and they've been, they're the most sweetest peas I've ever had. And I'm not usually a pea person. <laughs> so, and then over here is in this, uh, uh, we have petunias in this um, pot, planter. And then over here we have um, a bunch of variety of flowers that I just got from Seed Mix. So they're really good. It has a whole bunch of poppies, just some wildflowers. So hopefully those will attract more bees. And then over here, I don't know if you can see back here, but these are two uh, raspberry uh, cane plants. So I'm looking forward to see how these do. And hopefully we get lots of raspberries. And then in here we have a little zucchini plant. And here are the succulents and they've been dying off but then they come back. So they've been doing really well too. And then over here, these just all bloomed are the um, Spanish lavender. You can see in here. They've done really well. And I've had, this was my first plant that I ever planted in when I began this gardening adventure. And as you could see, it has just outgrown its pot. <laughs> so, but they've been doing really good. And then over here is a little baby zinnia. It's, I think it's a pink zinnia. And I just started from seed. And then over here is uh, sage. And I've had this for two years and they just keep coming back. So it's been doing really well. And then back here is uh, garlic chives and they died out what they will do is they die off um, during summertime and you're thinking oh that's it but then they actually do grow back during February springtime it just depends where you live but they but they're a bulb so these do come back and then over here we have a whole bunch of yellow freesias and they just smell incredible and what will happen is when the bulbs when the flowers fall off, like like you see right here, um, sooner they'll come. They'll, those little uh, where the flowers fall, they'll create little um, bulb seed pods, and they'll get like a brownish, kind of like a nut, light nut um, color. And then those are the bulbs, and you just pick them off and you just replant them. And it's really easy. You just plant them back into the um, the the pot or whatever you or whatever container you have them in they've done really well too then over here you can't see let's move a little bit over here I have um, morning glory in the front and then in the back they haven't bloomed yet they haven't germinated yet is moon glow so it's it's almost like petunias in a way type so they hopefully those will grow and we'll see what happens and then over here is another mix of African daisies. These are the um, reddish orange uh, kind, and these are done really well. Then over here I have, they're starting to sprout um, oriental daylilies, and we'll see how these do. 
I might have them all too crammed up, so I might have to separate them. Then over here, they're not in bloom yet, but these are red cabbage roses, and they'll bloom hopefully soon. So, yeah, it's a lot of work, but you know what? It's been, it's all worth it. So if you ever have a, you can even have a garden container and, and like this, and you don't even have to have a big backyard like mine. And it's just really great. And that's this part of the garden. Over here, um, I ended up planting some orange gardenias, and this is a strip over here that used to have tons of weeds. So I just said, why not? So I planted them, and off they went. So these have done really well. So let me get a close-up here. They've done really well. And... Um, they're doing uh, wonderful. And this plant over here, it's actually a bulb flower, type of bulb flower. And I got this from my great grandmother's um, garden. So I trans so they, I successfully transplanted them here. And they're doing really well. So hopefully maybe this year there might be some flowering. So hopefully that will be good. And then over here is a... Uh, a white bush plant that just bloomed and this has done really well so all the bees love it and over here is a spider um, bulb plant I call it the spider plant but it's a spider plant I used to call it I don't know what the name is though but it's actually really uh, cool and hopefully I want to move these to somewhere better so hopefully when these go to seed I'll plant them a little bit more thoughtfully. And then over here is a peach tree. And I'm in sunny California Bay Area. And everything seems to be doing well. Yeah. Here's a big, 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 big um, oak tree. My gosh, it is huge. But this provides a lot of great shade for all the other plants and stuff. So, yep. And there's my Rosemary, the kitty cat. And then over here is Mr. Jojo, my gardening sidekick. 